Okay, this is Q&A, week 19. So we're really getting through it. And uh, our first question is from Anna Meek. What do you think of holistic management in terms of solutions for grasslands and desertification? Is it the ultimate solution for global crisis that Savory makes it sound like it is in his TED talk? Secondarily, are you familiar with the holistic management decision-making framework? Apparently this is not published on the web anywhere. You have to buy the book and when I've asked related questions, I've been told you need the whole framework to understand which, as I mentioned, can only be obtained by buying in. This would be called mal educato in Italy. Well, wow, nice terminology. Okay. This is a cattle cell. We're in a cattle cell right now. And these are some of my beef cows and a couple of the dairy cows and some of the young calves coming through. Uh, we use a, a cell grazing method uh, like holistic management and um, it works great. It's a great system. Um, it's ideal where you have grasslands, savannas and prairies where you had large herds of animals moving very quickly, tight packed by predators, where they eat everything off to the ground imprint the ground with their hooves, uh, drop massive amounts of manure and then move quickly and maybe don't return for one or two years even and that's what built those prairie and savanna soils so ideal in that situation but we're in the subtropics but there there are there are systems there that are useful um, this is a um, a cell grazing system that improves the soil. So you can look at that, that as a, a, a technique with a principle of how it repairs the land. So we graze off here, they imprint the ground, they drop quite a lot of manure and we move them. And we bring them back before the, the, the tall clumping grasses start to seed. So it's a, it's a system that actually improves the soil. So th these are systems that work and you can apply these systems through different climates, but you can't say it's the only thing that is going to actually repair the, the, the global, what are we saying here? It's the solution with grasslands and desertification. Well, if you're saying that the grasslands have turned into desert and you can bring them back with cell grazing, yeah, that's right. But it's not the only thing that works. You can't say that, you know, grazing animals are the only part of the ecosystem we need to manage. It's all about balance and interactive diversity. You know, we can say that humans are the only things we have to manage, but it, it's, it's not, that's not true. It's a complete combination of elements that we need to manage. There are, there are multiple elements that need to come into balance. I mean, we design your toilets. We design your local economics. We design your aquaculture system. I mean, most of those things won't be benefited by cows grazing the right way or any grazing animals grazing the right way. I love these systems. I love all these wonderful systems. They work wonderfully well. And as long as they're applied with ethics, they work with permaculture. They're fantastic. But it is true. We need a holistic design. Now, as far as our principles, there are many, many principles out there in, in many systems, and they all work fine. But, dropping a bit of paper here. If you look at Permaculture 2, the book Permaculture 2, chapter one, Bill outlines permaculture principles, and they're very similar. We're getting, the cameraman's getting knocked around by one of the young bulls here. So this is big boy and he's knocked the light over and he's certainly having a bit of fun with us here. But um, this is cell grazing for you and it's his territory and I'm in it and so is the cameraman. So <laughs> bear with us here a minute. <laughs> this is a funny start to Q&A number 19, but never mind. Um, so permaculture principles as quoted in Permaculture 2 by Bill Mollison and listen at the similarity here. And I know that Bill said many times to me, Jeff, don't worry so much about principles. Worry about how you convert principles into directives to act. Convert your principles into directives to act and go into action. Because you can argue forever about which principle, which set of principles, doesn't really matter. 
do they go into action and get a result that's truly beneficial and sustainable and benefiting all life systems, not just grazing systems, but all systems. So let's listen to this. Permaculture principles, permaculture two, Bill Mollison, number one introduction, then relative location. Each element performs many functions. Each important function is supported by many elements. Eff efficient energy planning, using biological resources, energy cycling, small scale intensive systems, accelerating succession and evolution, diversity, edge effects, and attitudinal principles. And then he goes on at the end to say references and further reading because he knows there are, and we should all know, there are many ideas about what set of principles should be used and they probably all work. This is the thing, they all work. All these different elements that are, hello big boy, this is my young bull here coming to maturity and still quite friendly. Hopefully he stays friendly and he doesn't charge me right now in front of you. Um, but this is, you know, as long as they're ethical, they work. This is the thing about permaculture. It works with all of these systems, biodynamics, key line, rangeland management, holistic management, <laughs> soil food web, you know, all brick minerals, I think I've said biodynamics, organic, they all work. What you need is an, an integrated plan that gives you a diversity that connects it together as a holistic system of design. 